Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So if you haven't seen my previous video, pause this, stop what you're doing and go and watch that because this won't make any sense. But basically I have a new horse and this is the day he arrived. I thought I would quickly go through his first week with us um, as a vlog for you. So this was the very first day that Percy arrived on the 1st of November. So I had Denny Dot equestrian transport to bring him over because we actually bought Percy from Wales so I did view him prior to buying him um, but it was a three and a half hour journey there so I thought I'll get a horse transporter to bring him because that worked out a little bit easier and Jess was absolutely amazing with him she said he traveled like an absolute angel um, as we've discovered he's very very good to travel so this is Percy's arrival, first time at home and straight down to business, straight into the grass. They are, that's definitely his priority. Um, so we unloaded him, had a quick picture and then we decided to let him settle in the stable initially. So we popped him in the outdoor stable so that he could see the other horses um, from there and just so he could kind of get his bearings a little bit more. We always tend to pop them in the stable for like 20 minutes when they first arrive um, mainly so that A they definitely have a drink um, and so that we can give them some feed so I just gave him a really sloppy feed of some chaff and some recovery mash um, so this is a good idea after they've had a long journey to replenish those liquids and just to line their stomach with some chaff because it's really sort of stressful for horses to move and a new routine and new settings and everything. So we definitely don't want any colic or ulcers. So lots of nice high quality chaff from Denji for him. And then it was time to be turned out into the field. And I've never known a horse be turned out next to six of the horses and be this chill. He was just like, oh great, I've got grass. I've got somewhere to roll, happy days. He really wasn't bothered about the other horses at all who were all staring at him like who is this and what is he wearing um, but he settled straight away in the field and that was him for the first day now the second day we really did chuck him in at the deep end we popped him on the box at 5 p.m and took him out for a saddle fitting um, to check if Smokey's Albion saddle would work for the meantime and it did luckily um, so excuse the quality but that's this was our first ever little jump together um, since I bought him and this was filmed on the saddle fitters phone so hence the quality because she had to send it me um, but Percy was so good so we're taking him away and into a big indoor arena in the pitch black I was so proud of him so guys day two well day three technically of owning Percy and we are at an arena hire arena eventing I don't actually know what I was thinking booking an arena hire um he went out for his saddle fitting yesterday and was such a good boy and I've just started tacking him up in there he's a good boy Bess. um he's had some chaff he's got something in his tummy and yeah we're just waiting for Hull and her horse and then we'll uh, do some jumpings so we took Percy to Aylesford which is a really nice arena hire where they have a little bit of everything. It's basically like an arena eventing. They've got some solid jumps, some show jumps and I thought this would be a good experience for him. Basically Holly, who's here, um, is normally on this side of the camera. She's my videographer. Um, and she has a four year old and she wanted to go out and basically hire this so I said I would join her for our first little trip out um, and I warmed him all up obviously before this and walked him around everything and then we started having a little go at some jumps and you can tell in these clips that this is very early on in our partnership I hadn't really quite worked out how to ride Percy at this point um, but you know, me being me, I took myself in the deep end and thought, let's just go for it. Let's go and have some fun and try out what he's like in different places. That is the reason I bought Percy, um, to come and have some fun. So that is what we did.
So by this point we'd got our confidence up and I'd learned to trust Percy um, and kind of learn how to ride him as well so it's one big learning curve so we went up top and started popping some of the solids and having a great time. So that ended on a huge high, we learnt so much and I learnt so much about how to ride Percy as well in that session. So day four I decided let's do a little bit of flat work and see if we can work out Percy's buttons. Now this was all just very much let's try this and see what this happens and just basically trying to work him out on my own. I will be having a lot of lessons but I thought you know what he's had a bit of a quiet week um, and he's a horse that they said they ride most days so I thought we'll just do a little bit of a schooling session and get him in our arena so that he gets used to it. Um, so started warm up on a long grain. Now I have noticed instantly since riding Percy that his go-to is to tighten through his back and lift his head. That's sort of his comfort zone um, which if you guys remember that was actually Smokey's comfort zone as well and Snippy tends to do that. So I had a go at trying to get him to sort of relax over his back and things um, warming up on a longer rein but he was quite tense which I anticipated so I just wanted to try and work on different ways to work him through it um, he was in no way naughty and if anything he was a little bit lazy um, but it was literally just me trying to learn how to ride him um, and he did have some really nice moments in there where he would come down and sort of loosen up for me um, and yeah it's honestly the worst part about getting new horses is literally learning how to ride them it's like getting in a car and all of the buttons have all the instructions taken off them like you don't know what any button does yet um, I also really want to get um, Michelle my physio out to him because he's a little bit stiff and I think he could just do with loosening up as well before we really start focusing on our riding um, and obviously I'll have him MOT'd his teeth checked and all of the rest of it as well um, I think he's up to date with everything but I do like to just double check when a new horse comes to me we will be doing a lot of work on the flat. I think our jumping will come more naturally than our flat work, just because I prefer jumping. And to be honest, I think Percy does too. But for our first ever flat session, I was pretty happy with this. He was quite responsive to me um, and he did eventually relax and allow and listen to what I was asking. So I was really pleased with him and for that. And I'm definitely looking forward to our flat work lesson, which is coming up in a couple of days. Then I walked him off, let him have some big pats and told him he was a good boy. Our arena is quite a large one so it can be a little bit daunting when they first come in here but he wasn't bothered about anything. Caramel was sticking her head through the fence and he was a bit like, oh, what's she doing there? But other than that, he was pretty darn perfect. So we are on day four. No, that's three. <laughs> We're on day four of Percy. Um, being here almost, it'll be like four days this afternoon um but yeah so today is our first ever flat work that we've done 
definitely looking forward to my lesson tomorrow on him and just learning what buttons to press. He's very, very, very different to Snip to Ride. He's more of a really quiet with your hands and really strong with your leg um, and using your seat a lot more than you do with Snip. Whereas with Snip, you have to almost like hold her in place and then she goes, oh, okay. Whereas Purse um, <coughs> prefers less of a contact. Um, but yeah, I think I need to ride him really short and just really push into that contact but i'll see what tracy says tomorrow this is the only downside of new horses is learning how to ride them um but he was very very well behaved to so say it's his first time in the arena here he's really been chucked in at the deep end um and yeah and i still can't get over it last night's jumping like it was just amazing you a good boy busy big girl are you a good boy? Are you? Yeah. Yes. Yes. He's not too keen on the stable, are you, mate? And also, I'm not sure about that grackle, because he's got like a, a mark on his nose from where it's been. And it wasn't tight, so... I think we'll get him a new, a new um, bridle. Probably from Expert Bits, although I do need to get him a drop nose for his flat work. And here's my other princess. Mwah. I did ride Snippy as well, um, but it chucked it down, so I didn't film that. Um, but she's not forgotten about you, ugly girl. She's got a rug on, because we've got absolutely... We got soaked, didn't we, girl? Got soaked. So yeah, I'm going to turn him out now. They're coming in and staying in the stables for the first time tonight, um, which will be interesting, because I don't really think Purse likes being in the stable. Um, but it's firework night and, well, tomorrow's my fire night, but there'll be some going off tonight, won't it, Pesses? Yes. You've got such a big squishy nose. We just love him. Right, we're going to turn him out, see if we can find some mud boots to fit, because um, I don't want him getting mud fever. So, Purse and Snip are the same size in rugs. So poor Mr. Percy has got a pink stable rug on for his first evening in the stables, have you, my boy? He's not overly impressed by it, I don't think. But it's a lovely Swiss rug. It's very nice. Yes, it is. You're going to be a good boy. Yeah, you're so good. Now. So good morning guys, it's now Sunday, I am up bright and early, currently half six, oh hello flights, um, currently half six and I'm going to feed the horses the hay nets. Percy didn't really like the outdoor stable, he didn't settle too well so we put him on the indoor and swapped the horses around a bit and he settled much better. So I'm going to go see how he is this morning. So Purse settled really well in the indoor stables. We actually ended up swapping a lot round. So Percy went in Taffy's, Taffy went in Caramel's, Caramel went into the outdoor stable because she's the only one that had actually stay in there and Snip was in what was Charlie's, which is the spare stable inside. Um, but yeah, that was them all and they had a good night's sleep despite some fireworks going off. Um, so that was good. So the next day was time for our lesson with my trainer Tracy. So I started by warming up and basically showing her how Percy was going so she could get the gist of him and could understand where he was coming from, how I was riding him, blah blah blah. Um, also popped the dressage saddle on him to see what he went like in that and Tracy very quickly said right we need to work on just getting him to release in the neck. So she grabbed the reins and just started having a little bit of a play and this exercise basically you're asking them to sort of move their head round without moving their legs and then when they release, you release. So as soon as that tension's gone in the neck, he gets the full rein and a pat. So basically it's saying when I put pressure on, bring your head down, relax 
and you will suddenly get a release of pressure and then I will just keep a spongy contact on the rein. So it's making it very clear that when his head's down and he's nice and soft and supple he doesn't get any of that pressure at all and when he brings his head up there's a little bit of pressure added to say come on back down you go. So Tracy did it first and then it was my go in halt and then the idea with this exercise is then you do it in walk, you do it in trot, you do it in canter. So that this will actually be the way we warm up every session just by getting him to release his neck, relax over his back and move forward and then his legs will start working underneath him better as well because it does tend to be a little bit front heavy. So as you can see he very quickly picked up what we were asking of him and started relaxing into the contact. Then in walk we did the exact same, I'm, I'm moving his head left or right, putting my leg on and encourage him to bring his head down. You'll notice initially there are just moments when he brings his head down and then he quickly fetches it back up. The idea is with this is for them to keep their head down eventually but we're just taking baby steps and you can already see his back loosening, his head coming down and his hind legs engaging a little bit more and stepping under him a little bit better. Um, he actually really quickly picked this up um, and I was really pleased with him. The left rein is his worst rein, I believe, is that right? Was it the right rein? Um, one of them, he's better than the other. And then eventually we work up to doing this in trot. Now, I was filming this on my pivot on my phone and someone rang me. So very annoyingly, 20 minutes into my lesson, it cut out. Um, but this is the stage we've got to in those 20 minutes of him going around nicely and releasing and um, loosening his back so we were really happy with that and then we did actually get him doing it a little bit in the canter that will come more in time but for our first session to get him down and reaching and then the, we also started getting him working in a more active contact so rather than me having really long reins he was in an actual um, normal outline towards the end of the session as well so that was a really successful first flat work session <laughs> Pizzles. So today is a day off for Mr Percy Pig, but he's still come up and had a groom and getting used to being in the stable. Are you sleepy now? Are you a sleepy one? Um, he's, he's so cute. Snip's been ridden. This is the grumpy one over there. Um, and I'm just about to turn them out back in the field, but it takes a lot because Percy has quite a bit of layers on, don't you? He has a snuddy hood and then two rugs um because we need to get him a thicker one don't we my dear so that you don't have to go out in two so that's why he's in with his little fleece on at the minute because we've got to keep him nice and warm haven't we purse but he's a lot better in these indoor stables if someone wants to go out um but yeah he's a lot better with these indoor stables and he's really really chilled he's settled in really well haven't you you're such a good boy purse so Percy spent the majority of this day in the field living his best life and just look how cute he looks in his little snuggy hood. I just think it's the cutest thing ever. Several days later. So guys, today is Friday. I don't know what day it is anymore. Um, and today we're taking Percy out for his first lesson away from home, his first jumping lesson. Um, it's freezing. I'm so cold. I'm just gonna go open the gates to bring the horse box round and then fetch a purse up. But Tracy really liked him um, when we had our flat work lesson and yeah, so you'll see him in action jumping today. Why am I out of breath? All I've done is walk over fields. Um, but yeah, excited to take him out, see what he thinks of a bit of jumping. We've only jumped so far and done um, a mixture of show jumps and solids so today will just be show jumps which I get the impression he's not quite as confident with just show jumps as he is solid fences so yeah and I really want to work on basically riding a course um, in preparation for Sunday because I think that's where I'm more likely to either A, forget my course, which we can't really do anything about that, or B, not steer him well enough because he's not quite as easy to steer 
as little smokes who span on a sixpence. Um, so yeah, that's what we're aiming to work on today. So all aboard, and I've also already noticed Percy settling on the box a lot quicker and eating during his journeys. Now my lesson, my mum just filmed sort of like the end of it, so these were our last couple of rounds. Um, we worked a lot on getting used to each other and also me getting used to Percy's speed because he came out today and was like, I choose violence. Um, no, he was just in turbo mode, um, which we hadn't really seen before. Um, so it was quite fun, but we were a little bit flat um, and hence some of the turns were a little bit questionable, but we are still brand new in this partnership. Um, and getting to know each other and how he rides and um, so this was definitely really good preparation for our show on Sunday which you guys will see in an upcoming vlog of our first competition. Turn me outside, turn me outside. Go. Which one's she coming at now? What? Don't like big strides. Right, no, he doesn't, does he? Where's she going blue, now? Look at the blue and white. Steady with the outside rain. Oh. <laughs> well done. So, guys, that was for Percy's first week and another day um, with us. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have and don't forget to subscribe. I genuinely can't believe the difference already in a week. He settled so well um, and we're really getting it together with our riding, especially since this video. So excited for you guys to see our journey. And also, don't forget to subscribe because Saturday at 5pm, our first ever competition vlog goes live. I took Percy Arena eventing, so that'll be up on Saturday and I'll see you guys then.